Hello, everybody. Preacher Lady on Wheels tuning in for a short moment. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Excuse my voice. I is recuperating uh, from all the singing, the preaching, worshiping God, doing everything that I can do for the Lord. Sometimes my voice, um, it just goes hoarse, and um, I just do what I can when I can for the Lord. I was reading in Ecclesiastes chapter 11. It says, Cast thy bread upon the waters. For thou shalt find it after many days. So I want to tell you today, cast your bread upon the water. And when I say that, I, whatever you're doing, whatever you have been called to do, uh, any gifts or callings that is in your life, get, keep on doing them. If you are praying, reading your Bible, fasting, going to church, being a witness, testifying, being a preacher, evangelist, whatever you're doing, keep on casting your bread up on the water for God because he sees what you're doing. And I'm telling you, it is a very rewarding thing to work for God. You know, if you... Um, are rewarded for sin, you're going to get death. You're going to get, you know, hellfire and brimstone. But if you are rewarded for God and his word, you are rewarded eternal life, which is heaven. And hallelujah. Because the Bible even says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So I don't want no wages of sin. I don't want to be paid for no sin. I don't want no sin in my life. But I want that gift of God, which is eternal life. One sweet, glorious day, I want to make it to heaven. And I want to be pleasing to God when I'm here on this earth. I want to um, do everything that God has called me to be and so much more. I want him to make me and mold me into what he wants me to be. If I do it, it's going to be wrong. If you try to do it for me, it's going to be wrong. But I know without a doubt in my mind, if my God does it, he's going to make me and mold me into what he wants me to be. And he can do the same for you. If you let him make you and mold you into what he wants you to be today, he will make you and mold you. And I promise you, it will be right. And you say, well, there's no way that he could do it for me. Yes, he can. If he can do it for me and he can change me and clean me up inside and out and wash me clean and make me and mold me into what I am becoming, I know he can do it for you and your friends and your family and anybody that is under the sound of my voice today. And I want you to know that God loves you and he honors the people that is uh, reading his word and obeying his word. If the Bible tells us to do something, we need to do it. If the Bible says do not do something, then we don't need to do it because we need to be obedient unto God and to God's word because he honors someone that is being obedient unto him. Hallelujah. So you say you love God. Okay. Well, make sure you're serving God is loving God and loving God is serving God because it takes it both. And when I say serving God, that means being obedient unto his word. So, um, I just wanted to say, you know, that short little verse, because I want to keep on casting my bread upon the water, whatever God gives me. I want to do it. Whatever he allows me to do, I want to do it for the glory of God, for the kingdom of God, to uh, be able to see souls saved and born again into the kingdom. I don't want nobody to die lost. I want everyone to come to God and, you know, get their blessing from him, get their salvation from him. That is so important to get your salvation um, because you can't make it into heaven without your salvation. You've got to repent of your sins and be baptized in Jesus name and receive the gift of the Holy Ghost because it tells us in the Bible in Acts chapter 2 verse 38 that we have to obey those things to be able to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Well, I just want to say thank you all for being wonderful people. Thank you all for casting your bread up on the water. It's going to come back to you. I know it will. And remember, if you give a little bit, you're going to get back a little bit. If you give a lot, you're going to get back a lot. And I say this spiritually because if you give everything that you've got serving God today, you're going to get a lot back from God. And you're going to see your spiritual walk with God increase and prosper. I'm not a prosperity preacher of saying you're going to get a mansion on a hill and a new car and the latest wardrobe out here um, with clothing. I'm not a prosper 
preacher, but I am a prosperous preacher in a spiritual walk with God because I'm telling you, you can gain the whole world. You can have everything that the world has to offer today, but if you lose your soul, what have you profited? The Bible says a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. What has he profited? He ain't profited nothing but the lake of fire. And I don't want the lake of fire, but I want my eternal life some glorious day. And I know y'all do too. Well, y'all keep on being wonderful saints of God. Keep on loving Jesus and serving Jesus with everything in you. Keep on growing in God is the most important thing. We've got to grow in God. I don't want to stay in one place. I want to continue to grow in God for the glory of Him. For Him to get all the honor and the praise for it. Well, y'all, it's been a wonderful time. I hope that I have said one thing to help one person out there. And if that, if I can do that, I know my work is not went in vain. God bless you all in Jesus name. Remember, God loves you. I love you. Keep God number one in your life and you're going to be all right. God bless y'all until next time. I can barely wait. Bye-bye.